drive down the Baltimore Washington Parkway after work and you may be surprised at what you see flying above. NASA officials want to get the word out that the plane you see in the sky is not part of a terrorist plot, but an experiment to help you breathe cleaner air. If you see a plane flying extremely low over the next month, don't panic. NASA is conducting low-altitude research flights over the Baltimore-Washington region in Northeast Maryland to measure ground-level air quality. Well, this particular type of research is challenging in that it's in uh, very dense uh, air-controlled airspace. So uh, that has a whole set of challenges associated with it. Air traffic, we're getting relatively low to the ground, so there's some terrain issues there. Uh, also, it's a sensitive area, so part of our, our process here is to make sure that people are informed we're going to be flying low over various uh, roads and metropolitan areas and, and make sure people know that we're going to be out there. The research aircraft will be doing a series of unusual corkscrew or spiral patterns over each of the six ground stations along the flight loop. Six ground stations are monitored on each research flight, including one in Beltsville. We have uh, a whole fleet of NASA satellites that are up there now currently. Uh, however, uh, the use of those data coming from those satellites for air quality at the surface is rather limited. And the data set that we're going to be collecting uh, will aid us in developing a whole three-dimensional picture of what air quality looks like. Uh, the five things that we see from space are particulate matter, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, formaldehyde, and carbon monoxide. All of those things are measured from this plane in addition to many other things, uh, hydrocarbons and uh, carbon dioxide, uh, many different aerosol properties. Uh, these things help us interpret uh, those five quantities that we want to understand from space. The, this measurements of, of the carbon monoxide and the other gases are going to be combined with the other measurements of gases here on the airplane to, to break this bridge of understanding between the, what the satellites are seeing and what the ground stations are seeing and the air quality that uh, we're all experiencing. And if you look up during rush hour, you might just find the large aircraft. It's expected to fly as low as 1,000 feet over some major local highways. And the first flight is expected to start this Thursday or Friday, and as many as 14 flights will occur through the end of July. Each flight loop takes about two hours and will occur between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m.